Today I want to share with you five scents that I think would work perfectly for a gentleman in spring 2018. Get excited and let's go. Tiff Benson here, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I'm ready for spring. I want to thank you for sticking with me. I know I've been kind of absent lately and that's because I started this brand new beauty line. It's called Flaunt Beauty and it's a line of lashes. Please check out the link in the description. Support my brand. Buy for your, your cousin, your auntie, your wife, your sister, your brother. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for your support and I am back. Leave a comment right now and let me know what's on your spring list for 2018. I'm super curious to hear what you guys will be wearing and give this video a thumbs up because your girl is back. In the number five spot, a fragrance that I would like to recommend after some serious testing is why by YSL. Now I know this one did not get a lot of love in the Fragcom, but that's okay because everything comes in seasons. So this fragrance is actually supposed to represent a crisp clean white shirt and it's supposed to also show a balance between freshness and strength. This is a powerful one performs very well. It's kind of one of those no-brainer scents that you just grab and go, super effortless. Something that you don't have to think too hard about, which is kind of good, because when you want to just get to where you're going and smell good while you're doing it, this is one to try. It has notes of bergamot, sage, cedarwood. It has a marine-like quality to it, and I think it's super chic and oddly refined. In the number four spot, we have Prada Loam. Now, I bought two bottles of this just to have for myself because I really enjoyed the scent. One of them I gave away to a friend who was looking for something super fresh. And one of them I gave to a celebrity client of mine who wanted an all-encompassing fragrance that smelled amazing. I really can't say enough about this fragrance. I highly recommend it. To me, it's like a no-brainer for spring and actually for all year round. Get the toilet. I'm a fan of the toilet. I'm just saying. It's a beautiful iris and amber scent that really does perform very well. I would even say it could possibly almost be unisex. Just throwing that out there. Nonetheless, I love the freshness of it. I love the high quality ingredients of it. And again, I would highly recommend it for spring. It's gorgeous. Number three on my list is Joe Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Adore this fragrance. This is an award-winning fragrance. Super, super good. It has notes of amberette seeds, sea salt, marine accords. It also has driftwood accord, guaiac wood, white musk, and sage. It's so well blended. It just smells like you're walking down a beach and you're getting all this salty, mineral, fresh air around you. It's magnificent. Wood sage and sea salt is definitely transporting Every time I smell this, it reminds me of waves and the ocean and fresh air. It's a great scent if you love marine-like scents, and I highly recommend this one as well. Coming in in the number two spot is a fragrance that I have been really loving and enjoying even for myself, even though it's obviously marketed towards men. It is Elysium by Roja Dove. <sighs> First of all, it's very expensive. Let's just start the conversation there. But so worth it. This fragrance is super fresh. It is like a blast of grapefruit, black currant, lime, very citrusy in the top notes. And then it develops into something that is almost leathery, musky, and woody. There's a lot of notes in this fragrance, so I won't list them all, but I have to say I'm super impressed by the 
freshness, the authentic freshness of this fragrance. It's like the first, the opening is just indescribable. You have to smell it. Mm. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Compliment getter. People will smell this around you. For me, this does last pretty well when it comes to longevity. I just, I love the way this one smells. I also really recommend it. If you can afford the 400 plus price tag. So in the number one spot, it's a fragrance, of course, that I love. You know, I'm always going to give you fragrances that I love. I just have to say that. I'm just going to start by saying every man needs a Chanel in his life. And boy Chanel is one that you definitely need in your life. As you can see, I put a big dent in it since I acquired it. I love it, love it. This fragrance is supposed to be inspired by Gabrielle Chanel's Lover. And although it is unisex, I would say it's very masculine leaning. This is a fresh, super aromatic fragrance. It has lavender in here, which if you're a lavender lover, get your life. Heliotrope, musk, geranium. It's masculine, but it has this traditional quality, which I really, really enjoy. You know, I, I'm a fan of classic, sophisticated, elegant sort of scents. And yeah, I, I highly recommend this one as well for spring. So again, let me know what you'll be wearing down in the comment box below. If you love this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And the conversation continues over at the Fragrance Society. There will be a link in the description for you to join. I appreciate you and I love you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.